Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Brooke Gardner recalls embarking on road trips, a favorite family activity, while growing up in Northern California. Her father, an oceanographer with the United States Geological Survey, would stop the car to point out rock strata and recite the scientific names of plants to his wife, a library and IT budget director at Stanford University, and their children. Through both of them, I was exposed to higher education, academia. And that kind of scientific approach to the world, says Gardner. Gardner's love of travel and interest in foreign relations first prompted her to enroll at Middlebury College in Vermont as a language major. However, she retained a fascination with science from her childhood. I had to choose. Dot dot. My freshman year whether I wanted to continue to take intensive Italian or intensive organic chemistry, and I chose organic chemistry, she recalls. After graduating with a degree in biochemistry in 2006, Gardner began a Ph.D. program, also in biochemistry, at the University of California, UC, San Francisco, working under molecular biologist Peter Walter. Her doctoral research focused on the stress-induced unfolded protein response in the endoplasmic reticulum, Science, 333-1891-94, 2011, but the work inspired her interest in the versatility of other cell organelles particularly the mysterious peroxisome, an organelle that is involved in cell metab. I got really interested in the peroxisome because it's a place where cells can make a completely new organelle according to what they need, Brooke writes in an email to the scientist. It seemed like an area where there were a lot of open questions and where I could try to make an impact. Gardner next joined biochemist Andreas Martin's lab at UC Berkeley in 2013 as a postdoc studying motor proteins that play a role in the formation of peroxisomes. In a follow-up study, the team showed that this motor complex also unfolds another protein, PEX15, which allows the complex to import other proteins from the surrounding cell matrix, among other functions, NAT commune, 9 to 135, 2018. This past May, Gardner was named a Searle Scholar, and she is using the $300,000 award to tackle some of her, wilder, ideas in the lab, she says. Her team has already conducted a large screen looking for novel genes affecting peroxisome functioning in human cells and is beginning to analyze the results. It's incredibly exciting, but I think it's also going to be pushing us into directions that we weren't necessarily anticipating, Gardner says. It's just very nice to work with someone so reliable. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.